Hey everyone, it is Carol, I think the owner of The Inspired Market. Hello, we have a fun Christmas in July craft. <laughs> so as you're hopping on, say hi, let us know where you're from. We would love to welcome you in and let us know what snack you're eating. I posted, wanted to know, we had a lot of wine and cheese, which cheese. I love all the Fruit. cheese. Fruit. Somebody was having cherries. Yes, cherries. What else was on there? Um, I don't know. There were so many. So, welcome. Hey, Debbie. Billy Cole's on. Nancy Krause. Nancy Krause, long time no see. Nancy's on. Karen's on. Welcome, everybody. Let me turn my phone off. So Natalie, Grace, <laughs> Deanna, Patches, Eva. So, you guys are ready to spend your Friday night with us? We have a fun craft. Um, this is going to be a gift that you're going to be able to give to your loved ones. It's going to have so much meaning. It's going to be so inexpensive and anybody can do it. So um, it was one I did when we first started the page, literally probably about two years ago. Um, it is the most pinned um, craft I have on Pinterest. If you don't know I'm on Pinterest, I'm on Pinterest. Um, so you can find me over there. Uh, and uh, I thought I would share it with you guys. So Wheels. Hey, Connie and Sue. Lots of you guys. Yay. Yeah, you guys are Don't forget, um, spread the honey for our 12 days of Christmas. We are going to be doing a gift away every live. All you have to do is spread the honey and comment to qualify or to enter um, that you spread the honey. And then we are the one that we did last night. So we're going to let it go through the weekend. And then on Monday, we'll announce the winners before we start up our next week of of lives. Hey, Verdona, a lots of you guys on here. Uh, Louisa so. said, I put my phone sideways. You don't move. Is it my end or something on yours? You don't move. So if we're frozen for any reason, hop on, hop, hop back off. But Hop off, hop back on. So we know that this is a different view, but it's a better view because we can get Bill in the view. The back looks kind of scarce, I know. Um, but if you're watching this on your um, cell phone, the best way is to flip your phone this way. You can still swipe to the right or left to get your comments, but this is where I will pop up um, on your screen better. So, happy early birthday, Bill. Yes, it's Bill's birthday weekend. So, tomorrow we go to his parents to celebrate. <laughs> Hopefully, if his mom's watching, he wants ice cream cake. <laughs> I don't think she is. <laughs> no, she's getting pie. <laughs> Thanks, Kirsten, for spreading the honey. You guys are amazing. Good. Okay, so I'm going to give you step by step, and I really hope you guys are going to enjoy this because I love this craft. Um, you're going to need a rolling pin. When I'm out at Goodwill, I always, always, always grab the rolling pins. If you can't find them, you can get this one which is not a vintage one or anything, which actually maybe it's vintage. You don't want to kind of play around with it. Um, this is one from uh, Walmart, and you can get them for $3.98. So this is only $4 in. Yeah, they're super cheap. So I'm going to get started painting as you guys are hopping on. Hey, Janet. So we're going to do something special with recipes. These are recipes that were in Bill's family for decades, and we're going to do a fun craft with them. What I'm going to do now is prep my Shane rolling said, pin. OMG, I just bought two of these. Oh, perfect. You're going to want to watch. This is, when you give this to somebody for Christmas, they are going to absolutely cherish it. Um, so I'm prepping my rolling pin. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab my Where are you going sandy now? block. Oh, yeah. Shailen just bought two of them. I love that name. Hold on. Uh, Joanne said, hi guys, you're coming up my way tomorrow. What'd she say? I'm heading to Tampa. Oh, great oh. granddaughter's birthday. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, Spreading the honey. Yeah, we're going up by the villages. Yeah. Villages, Florida is where my parents are at. So when you're, when you're painting, when you're painting. <laughs> okay. That's like the third time tonight. And nice. It is my birthday weekend. We already decided that. Uh, um, Somebody was a little cranky earlier. <laughs> <laughs> not, 
um, you want to prep your wood. So we're going to sand it. <laughs> I'll be nice to him. <laughs> all right. Hey, Sandy. Okay. So all you're doing is prepping this. So we're going to decoupage these in, in a special way. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint my base. I'm going to use the plaster. Um, you can use white. When I decoupage, I like to put the white underneath because it's going to make it pop. You are more than welcome to just leave the natural wood, but this is how I like to do it. Uh, Nicole is having some homemade chicken noodle soup. Oh, yum. Ooh, that's good. Where are you going now? <laughs> I forgot my gloves. Oh, no. I forgot my Thank gloves. Thank you for all the happy birthdays, everybody. I uh, really do appreciate it. And stay tuned because you know we have our question of the evening. Um, Bill is going to ask, and that's always fun. So We'll wait till we get a few more people on. Oh, Angela said, a rolling pin crab. Yes, keep spreading that honey. You have four waiting to get ideas. Okay, so this is good. This one I, I, I take pride in because if you watch the video from two years ago, it was good, but it was complicated. So not complicated, but a little too many steps in my opinion now looking back. I've simplified this for you, and it's going to be awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and start painting the base. Sheila, tell them thank you. Sheila said the girls say happy birthday, Bill. Aw. Thank you. Thanks for watching. It's uh, Liv and Molly, Molly, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank you, girls. Uh, Hopefully you're having a good time. Uh, Shirley, we're not going to Nashville. Change of plans. We had a, um unexpected like family reunion out in Colorado, and that's what we're going to do. So. Hey, Lee. Hey, Lee. Um, so it won't be coming to, to Nashville. But you're dripping. Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So all I'm doing is I'm taking the plaster. And, again, this is optional, but I think this is going to make. So what we're doing is we're personalizing. We're going to personalize some napkins, believe it or not. Um, and we're going to do it with recipes that have been in Bill's family for decades. So not again, the originals, though. I mean, they're original no, right, recipes. But right. Not, they're original recipes, the original. but we're not using the original paper that it was written on. So this is a really good gift that you could give, like, um, you know, if your grandmother had recipes, this is a good gift to give your siblings, um, your mother, your father, somebody like that who's going to cherish them. Uh, Shaylin, we're going to Colorado Springs is where we're going. We're go flying into Colorado Springs. That's where we'll be. That's where we'll be, yes. Lee said, I remember the other rolling pin you did. Oh, right, Lee? That was forever yeah. ago. But this is actually going to be a lot simpler. Um, and I think just it's going to be cleaner. I guess that's the best way to say it. So it's always funny. I mean, when you do a craft a couple times, you kind of you come up with better ways of doing it. And this is definitely one of them. So Sheila had a great day on the water today. Oh, the lake, nice. She said. Uh, Pamela Weber said we're leaving for Florida in the morning. Oh. What part, Pamela? Yeah, where are you, where are you headed? All right, honey, I think it's question of the evening. Uh, Robin said I just got my text. Have you been on long? No. We just got started. Carol's painting the rolling pin. And that's crazy because I sent that text out at 8.05. Yeah. 8.05 I sent that text message out. So For it to come out. I will try to um, send it out even earlier, I guess. Yeah, Nicole said, uh, join the texting. I just put her message up there. Uh -huh. Thank you, Nicole. Okay. We appreciate it. Thanks, guys. There's lots of you on here. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, we got a, while Carol's painting, let's grab the question of the evening. If you guys are new, we do a question every evening. It's just a random question. It's just a fun way of getting to know you guys. Getting to know you guys. Hey, Tammy Howard. Um, getting to know okay. you guys. And uh, they were always such a really big hit. So They're fun. Um, <laughs> oh, she's going to Cocoa Beach. Hey, Tammy. Uh, let's see here. Cocoa Beach, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's oh, get the... Oh, nice. Dana made these um, use on a mason jar. That's okay. a great idea. So here is the question of the evening while okay. Carol dries that. Let me, let me, so we all hear it. <laughs> if you could hire someone to help you, would it be with cleaning, cooking, or yard work? 
If you were to hire one person to help you, what would it be? What would they be helping you with? Cleaning, cooking, or yard work? Yeah, I'm interested to see. What is the least favorite thing you want to do and you hire somebody out? Oh, Jody's singing happy birthday to Bill. Thanks, Jody. I'll see Susan said my text came in at 835. Cooking. Oh, thanks, Charlotte. Cooking. Lee said, Lee said cooking. <laughs> Janet said cleaning. I agree. Carol yeah. Paul said cleaning. Cleaning. That's so fun. Cleaning. <laughs> thanks for the stars, Tammy. Pamela loves to cook. Oh, Shaylin said uh, yard work for sure. Yeah, I, I don't mind doing yard work. So yard I, work's out for me. I would. I think mine would be cleaning. Mine would be cleaning. Cleaning, a lot of cleaning. Yeah, I think mine would be cleaning too. Definitely cleaning. Becky said cooking. Hey, Kathy. All of the above. <laughs> Molly says cleaning, definitely. Right, Molly? I agree. I agree. Diane said I hire my mom. She does it all. <laughs> yeah, that's always nice, Somebody right? Somebody said they love your shirt. The shirt um, is a collaboration. Not a collaboration. If you comment shirt link, um, you can grab my affiliate link with Cotton Chaos, and you can go ahead and grab the shirt. Um, they've got really some cute designs out there. So. Okay. What do they have to comment? Shirt link. <laughs> shirt shirt link, link or link? Shirt link. Okay. Shirt link, and it should come, just the shirt link should come. Okay. So I've got that. I'm going to go ahead and sand this just to make it smooth. So again, this is just going to make our personalized, customized, <laughs> napkins for this Jody craft. said cooking and cleaning and, oh just one Jody just one Jody <laughs> follow the directions Jody <laughs> okay so while we're doing that too I'm kind of debating so I'm gonna have more of my bee thing going on with this one so I'm not sure if I want to do is that chalk paint you're using yes so I use the color plaster by Waverly I don't know if I want to use I think I want to use the maze instead of my tried and true burnt umber. You're not gonna see the white. This is all gonna be covered. And if okay, so we'll wait. You guys kind of think it through, but when we get this done, we'll decide what color we'll for let them the comment, handles. Yeah. yeah, What you'll see what it looks like, but comment if you think we should go yellow or burnt umber um, for the handles. I would say yellow just because it's different <laughs> instead of burnt umber. If anyone knows Carol, she loves burnt umber. Yes, I do. Yeah. Cleaning. I love to cook bacon. Yep, in the in the yard work. Oh, you like it all. <laughs> okay. So now we have. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. I'm going to put this to the side. Okay. Watch Bill's face. <laughs> it's my birthday. <laughs> I only ask for a few things. Oh, Lynn finally caught us live. Yay. Okay. So hey, Julie. For the next part, you're going to need napkins. Now, I use the Chinette napkins, and the reason I use them is because they're thicker. The cheaper napkins will work, but I've only, I can't account for that because I've never used that. I've always used, for this craft, I've used the thicker napkins. Um, so these are, usually they're like $2 at Walmart, so while you're picking up your rolling pin, pick up napkins that's the only two supplies you need right now carol close asked carol did you always have that pegboard with the containers i just noticed it and i love it yes i've kind of dressed it up a little recently that's um, from it's from ikea bill put it up so it's been up for a while though yeah. carol and then but, this whole background's going to change <laughs> uh, so that's coming um, but yes, I love the pegboard too. So, and then if anybody's been asking what this little countdown is, it's not countdown to Christmas. In July, we are opening up or reopening up our DIY club. It's 17 days away. It is our private group. There's some ladies on here that are in the group. Uh, we only open four times a year. This is the last time we're opening at the founding member price. 
So if you'd like to get on the waiting list, just comment DIY Club. But we have a lot of fun in there. Um, it's a community of ladies, and we learn crafts, and they share their ideas, and we inspire, and we laugh, and everything we do here, but on a much more personal level in the group itself. So, 17 more days. I love that countdown, because I get excited. <laughs> Can you use Karen, white tissue paper? Karen yes. Williams mm -hmm. said, LOL, dream box. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm working on that. Okay. So Carmen asked if you can use white tissue. Yes, you can white, use white tissue too. So what we're going to do we're, to start off is we're just going to take our paper. Hey, we get the 500 viewers. I'll sing happy birthday to myself. <laughs> 500 viewers. Uh, I'll sing happy birthday to myself. What do we make it? Bobby, we are making a really cool gift that you can give your loved ones. And we're going to be using recipes. Um, that we had in his family forever. Carmen asked, could you use tissue instead yes, of... Yes, I said that. Yep. Okay. Sorry. Um, did that get wet? No. Is it rubbed on my water? Oh, yeah, it did. <laughs> well, but actually, we're fine because we're not using that half. Okay. There's a lot of... Don't say it on. didn't. Don't say it didn't though, when I asked you if it got wet. <laughs> don't so, answer before you actually look at it. How about if I move my arm? Yeah, Kimberly, comment DIY Club. I don't know if it's going to send it to you if it's just club. But DIY Club, you can get on the wait list. Um, they'll send you a link into your messenger box. And make sure you click the link. Go over there, put your name, because there will be an early bird special going on for sure. Okay, is that going to get all over my face? Okay. Then what you're going to need is you're going to need spray adhesive. So I like the Gorilla Glue. It does get gunky up there. Um, so definitely be careful. Now, make sure you spray it this way and not in your hair. I have done that, and it takes forever to come out. So just take your spray adhesive and spray it. And that's why we got the puppy pad. So we're making personalized napkins okay so now you've got your adhesive and now you've got your napkin can you shut that wind off for two seconds honey the fan it's called fan. a fan not the wind <laughs> you want me to turn the wind off i'm gonna turn the wind off i'll be right back hold on oh, and the question of the evening if you've just joined us is what's one thing you would hire <laughs> that's what you get what you would hire somebody for cleaning cooking or yard work Okay, so that's all we did, and now we're going to take a brayer, and we're just going to make sure it's smooth. My birthday is, uh, when is my birthday? Tomorrow? Sunday. Sunday. Sunday is my birthday. Okay, so that's what we got so far. So you've got your napkin completely on your paper, okay? You're going to do this twice, and then you're going to cut it off. To make sure that there's no, because this is going into your printer, okay? Everybody saying happy birthday. Somebody said more info about the club. Yes, just comment DIY club. DIY club. We I don't want to post a banner up there because you won't see Carol working on the craft. Yep. Maybe Nicole can respond. Yep. If you see that comment, Nicole. Uh, Nancy said, I just hung my mom's recipes. Oh, see, this is awesome. So, okay, so you need one, and then I'm going to do another one. So, again, it's just uh, copy paper, copy paper. Um, oh, yard work, people are coming in. Cleaning, yes, Antonia. Um, spray adhesive. And then a good napkin. You can use tissue paper, but a good napkin um, cause it's just, you'll see what we're doing. Hello from Massachusetts. So kind of like a thicker napkin. Yes, like a thicker napkin, yep. Okay. So we're going to take our napkin, take our paper, we're going to line it up. See that corner is kind of rounded a little, so I don't want to get that in my printer. Are you using one ply of the napkin? This napkin is actually a two ply. Okay. Angela, two ply. Usually a better quality napkin is going to be more than a, a one ply. Patty just ordered a Cricut Joy. Ooh, have fun with that. How exciting. Then we're going to cut this off. Yes, yeah, so we did a project last night with the Cricut Joy. If you didn't watch it, go back and watch it. 
And thank you everybody for spreading the honey. Everybody that does that and comments spread the honey um, is entered in our gift away. We're doing it every every live this month for our 12 days of Christmas. What is that roller tool, please? That's a brayer. We have that in the market. We use it for um, our stamps. So it's just a brayer. You can go to Be Inspired Market or they can comment uh, link. link. Yep. L-I-N-K. And you can get uh, Christine Lester and you can uh, go check it out at the market. Okay. You can put the fan back on, honey. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no. Not yet. Actually, no, you can put it back on. Okay. So, so far, if you're just joining us, we have a rolling pin from, oops. I got some glue on there. Rolling pin from Walmart. If you find them at Goodwill, that's always helpful. Um, don't see in and out three times. Oh, swipe to the right or left, Darlene. You might be able to see them. Um, yes. Thanks for answering the question, guys. Uh, so this is two pieces of paper that have the tissue on there. Okay. Then what you're going to need is you're going to need some recipes. <laughs> so these are recipes um, from Bill's family. So this is Ma's baked beans, and I think we talked about this before. This is your Grandma Johnson. Grandma Johnson. Mom. So this is Bill's mother's mother's recipe for her. Ma's baked beads, and it's in right in in like handwriting. It's like the actual ones. Then this one is macaroni and beef. You know. That was kind of like a fancy hamburger helper. Mm -hmm. It's so good though. Maybe we'll share these recipes. Yeah, that'd be well. Yeah. This is going to be a blog post, What's so I think one? we are. This one is barbecue sauce for sloppy joes. Oh, the Baron sloppy joes are the bomb. Oh, welcome, Kim. Spread the honey. Thank you, guys. Um, and then beef stew crock pot. Okay. That I so, don't think I've ever had. This one I think I found. Oh, <laughs> oh thanks for spreading the honey. Okay, so you're going to put your napkins on the side. And now I'm going to go to the copy machine. So, um, I sound so old. I'm going to go to the copy machine. I'm going to go to the Lynn corner. lives in, uh, in Colorado right by the Garden of the Gods. Lynn, we're going to Colorado Springs. I think that's by you. And Carmen said oh. macaroni beef is goulash, American style. Oh, there you yes, go. It oh, is. thank you so much, you guys, for answering all the questions. We appreciate that. Are you slacking, honey? No. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take these Again, to the printer. Okay. That was number four. <laughs> that was number four of birthday weekend. See what I get? See what I get? Uh, okay, so I'm going to take these. Now, what I'm doing is I'm going to put them in my printer, and I'm going to copy them. And I'm going to tell you how I'm – there's – a reason for everything that I'm doing and you can do it the way it's going to be for you but I'm going to put them in the printer and I'm going to line them up in the center okay so that's how I'm lining up and I'm going to make a copy of it and I'm going to tell you why when we get there so Bill's going to keep answering questions you forgot Ma's baked beans I can only fit three so you can make more than one Lynn loves sloppy joe so do I Lynn these are really good I will try to get that recipe posted I remember goulash from grade school. Julie, this is like stepped up goulash though. This isn't like um, school grade goulash. <laughs> okay. So you're gonna preserve, you're gonna preserve your um, original <laughs> recipes, okay? Um, so preserve those, we always keep them. But this is how I ended up printing them, okay? I'll tell you why. Love doesn't keep score, Bill. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Kimberly, I don't know what you're talking about in Colorado Springs. Homicide Hunter? I don't know what that is. Okay. So now, easy so far? If you guys have questions, that's what Bill's here for, to catch them if I don't see it. Oh, Donna makes goulash. See? Thank you for the hearts. You guys are awesome. Patches said her favorite is family's depression chili. Oh, I huh. don't know what that is. See, that sounds good. 
Yeah, Nicole's helping. What was the – Darlene, what was your question? Oh, Darlene, something with her comments. She can't see them. If she swipes left or right, she's blank. <laughs> Jody um, said, oh, Bill, don't worry. The honeys are coming whether it's your birthday <laughs> birthday weekend. Don't point at her. I'm sorry. Birthday weekend. The ladies night. in the club, like I said. And the one thing that's fun about the club is that Bill actually crafts with me. So here he watches comments and, and does all of that. But in the club that we open in 17 days, he actually crafts. So it's super fun. Okay, so now that we have that, so here's the fun part. This is where you can get creative, and you can do what works for you. We have our napkins on here, but now I need a design. So one option is, I don't know if you guys know this, if you have, like, scrapbook paper. And the reason I'm doing it on tissue is because it's easier to decoupage with tissue on a round surface like this, okay? So if you have a favorite pattern that you love, like, any of these, anything in your scrap stash of paper, we all have paper. <laughs> Who's ever gone through all their paper? Not me. So you can go through your paper, okay, for instance, you can take out your phone, you can snap a picture in good lighting, make sure it's good lighting, you can snap a picture, and then you can send that picture to your printer, okay? You really need good lighting to do that so that you could get the full effect of your paper. That's a way to do it. That's not how I did it. I'm just giving you that option in case you don't do my option. My option. Darlene, you need to either swipe to the left or to the right to get your comments to come back. And maybe because it's landscaped, I don't know. Maybe turn it the oh, other and way. You know what? It might be just, it might be a glitch because more people are saying that too. So okay. it could be a glitch. Sorry, Darlene. Um, and it could be Facebook. Okay, so the option that I did was, I don't know if you guys know that this exists, but if you go to Etsy and you type in digital paper, digital paper, in the blog post, I will connect the paper that I'm using for my craft. Um, so you can download what's called digital paper. You go to Etsy, you download digital paper, and then I put that in a program called Canva, and then I took a picture of it or have it saved on my phone, and I'm going to send that to the printer. So my oh, – see if I can get this big for you. So my pattern is that. I don't know if you guys are going to be able Turn to see that. Turn it at an angle. An angle, not sideways. Yeah, see there you go. There. A little better. I'm going to see if you guys can see that. You must have them shut off quick. So you guys can kind of see, it's got like a honeycomb pattern. <laughs> don't, like, don't do it that way. It's a honeycomb pattern. So I went in and I went to Etsy and I downloaded and I just said digital paper, honeybees or bees or something bee related because that's the thing we have like in our home. Um, and that's something that if I was going to give somebody, I think it's cool because they know it comes from me. So I downloaded it. I put it in Canva and I got it on my phone. So now what I'm going to do is I have it set to the printer. So I'm going to take my napkins, and I'm showing you guys this live, so you know that this works. Thanks for spreading the honey. I'm going to take my napkin. This is the napkin side. That's how my printer prints. So you're going to have to figure out what side of the paper your printer prints, and I'm going to put that in there. Okay, so I've got that in there, and I'm going to hit print. So let's go back here. Okay, and it's going to print. <laughs> I hear it. Uh, rolling pins with recipes. Yes, I'm on Facebook and can only see. Yes. It must be a Facebook glitch. It must be a Facebook glitch. So if you're just joining, we're doing personalized recipe, rolling um, pins with recipes on them. It's a perfect gift to give somebody for Christmas. We're making our own customized napkins, and we're using recipes that have been in Bill's family for decades. Thanks for spreading the honey. Yes, keep doing that, and you can enter. Um, mind blown. <laughs> Get Klaus, mind blown. Um, I love sharing stuff like that with you. I think there's some things that you may not know, but you guys, all you need at this point, the only investment you have is the rolling pin, the napkins. Well, I had this napkins. There are 40 of them. I've had them forever. Um, and, and I keep them in my craft room. And the digital paper was roughly like $2. And it came with like a whole bunch of patterns. Uh, Susie said, why do you have to use Canva? I, that's the program I use. So if you have another software that you can 
take, um, well, did it have, actually the digital paper came as a PDF. So you could really just print it. I think I put it in Canva because I thought I was going to play with it some more and make it more customized. But if you buy digital paper off of Etsy, it's a PDF. So you should be able just to pick a pattern that you want and send it directly to your, your printer. Um, Shell said, hey, Bill, how do you keep getting people's comments to show up like that? It's uh, StreamYard. We it's use, a uh, software. Yeah. It's a software. Yes, that we Sherry, use. everything will be on the blog. Yep. JR said, OMG, that shirt is so cute. Oh, comment shirt link, and you can get it uh, linked for sure. Will all this be in your blog, Carol? Yes. Yes, <laughs> it will, Sherry. Uh, thanks for all the hearts. Um, we didn't see any mad faces today. That's really good. No, we got a wow face. We got and a we wow got, face. And we got 299 people watching. Oh, 300. Please. Yay. 300. Chloe said, love my bee gnome. Yes, Chloe got it from the auction. She got your bee gnome that Bill made. Very cool. So that stuff is showing up. Okay, so it's printing. You guys are watching this live. You saw exactly what I did. I did the napkin, put it on the, the copy paper, and I'm putting it through my printer. And if you you're, can do whatever you want. Just fell. Oops. If you're new... Let us know you're new. Just pop on and say, hey, I'm a newbie. What happened? <laughs> Did you see my bend? That was so classic. No, I, I didn't. fell and I bent. Oh. <laughs> so look how cool that is. Okay. Now. There's something peeking out of the printer. <clears throat> Better not be a snake. No. Is that, that was paper? just a thing. That was a paper. Oh. We're going to print it twice. Somebody... So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to print it again. I should have just did two. I like to put them in separately. So let's print. So whatever design, again, this is just inspiration for you. Um, you can do whatever works for you. Yes, Carolyn, I see your comments. Uh, ask again, because I might have missed it if it was uh, if you need an answer of something. Hmm. Okay, so while that's printing, did we decide on the color? So now that you guys see the paper, that we're going to kind of be using. What do you guys think? Maize or burnt umber for the rolling pins? What do you guys think? Maize. Could you pre pre printed napkins and stuff? You can absolutely do napkins that way. Yes. This is, well, yes. You can, this step though, to make them personalized is is what you're gonna to have to do. So if you buy the napkins already printed, this next step, I'll show you how you can maze, do that. Maze, maze wings. Okay, I'm just checking. Yes, Yellow. maze or burnt umber. And this is gonna be part of the design. Definitely maze, maze. Thanks for all the hearts and thanks for spreading the honey. We appreciate that. Maze. Nikki said, definitely maize. Somebody said, Patcha said burnt umber. Okay. Because it feels neglected. <laughs> it's been out of uh, commission for a while, right? It's probably dried up. Oh, I think maize won. Yeah. Okay. It's definitely maize. It's definitely maize. Okay, so I'm going to start painting this maize. And this can dry while we're doing our next step. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, let me shake that up. Somebody that's, said. Uh, that's been sitting for a while. What was the type you used on that beautiful white tray you did a while back? I don't know. I don't know what the white tray was. Ask again. I'm not 100% sure what the white tray was. Okay. It's Randy Mays. Welcome, newbies. Welcome, welcome. Kimberly's a newbie. Oh, maybe hey, do Kimberly. the question. We've got some new people on. I want to know what they want to do. Bill will ask the question of the evening. So, question of the evening. You're just hopping on. Something we do on our lives. <laughs> it said, if you could hire someone to help you, would it be with cleaning, cooking, or yard work? I already said mine would be cleaning, for sure. Cooking, cleaning, or yard work. Oh, you guys all said maize for the color. Oh, yeah, they're so still good. saying maize. <laughs> okay. That's the color. How pretty. Just when you're rolling, you got to make sure. Take your time. Thanks, 
Size. What brand printer do you have? It is an HP. I can't see it. <laughs> it's an HP Smart Tank Plus. I do have it in the Amazon store. Oh. Because I get that asked a lot. Um, so if you go comment link, it'll take you to our Amazon store. Okay. This maze is pretty. If you haven't... You Grab the maze. I know Waverly is going away. So you might want to grab the maze before it grows away. <laughs> Nicole, right? Nicole grabbed what she could when she saw her Waverly paint um, at uh, Walmart. There we got a lot of newbies. It. Marilyn oh, is welcome. from Prince Edward Island, Canada. Oh. Nice. Welcome, Marilyn. Hey, Linda. I haven't seen Linda. She's at cleaning. Unless I haven't seen you. Elaine said cleaning yard work for sure. I have Bill for yard work. He loves yard work. Hey, Linda. Yeah, it is a beautiful color, Janet. So the maze is perfect. The maze is such a perfect color. And we can spruce it up a little. I think the white tray was when you put the stencil on it and used resin. That was actually, it wasn't white. I forgot what color that was. It was like an aqua. It was like an aqua color. That one's going up on the blog. I've been kind of slow on that. That one's ready to go. So I have to get that one up on the blog. Okay. So I'm going to put this to the side. Let me clean it. Oh, everybody's so sweet. Okay. Somebody said it's been discontinued. Yes. Yes. They're not doing it anymore. Okay. So right now, this is what we've got. This is the two designs that I chose. Again, if you find napkins, now let's say you don't want to do that. You're still going to have to put your napkins on your paper, um, copy paper for this stuff. So how are we going to get our recipes onto here? So I copied the originals on here. Now I'm going to take this to the copy machine. Debbie said I'm a two week old newbie. Debbie, you know what? You're not a newbie anymore. Yeah. You're not a newbie. Newbies are really the first night. Okay. Hey, so, Connie. So newbie. I'm, I'm sorry, honey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this paper, <laughs> and I'm going to copy it onto the paper that I have my design on. I hope that wasn't too complicated. <laughs> so there goes the paper again. So basically, you're just taking the recipe and putting it on the paper yep. that's got the napkin on it. Yep. Yes. So if you weren't going to, and see, that's the thing. You can make tons of these. So if you weren't going to make your own napkins or your own designs, you can 100%, I don't remember who asked that, you can 100% do this and then just put it. <sighs> Look how cool. I love that. I love that. So that's taking the recipes. So these are true recipes in their handwriting that you're going to get on your recipe. Who's mind blown? <laughs> Bill, I thought you wait. Oh, you did raise your hand. <laughs> um, okay. You always blow my mind. Uh, I'm so glad. Okay, so let's get started here. So now that we have that, what you're going to do is now you've got to take your napkin off. So some of it is going to want to peel off, which is fine, because it's a two-ply. You're going to take your napkin. No, that tray, um, that was with resin. It, Carmen said it was the celery color, paint, and then you used an IOD transfer on it, right? Oh, was it celery? I don't remember. Yeah. But and yes, then, it and was an with IOD. With an IOD transfer? Yes. And what kind... Didn't did you use a wax on the part that didn't have resin on it? And what kind was it? We used just used resin. We didn't use a yeah, wax. We didn't use a wax. We didn't use a wax. Oh, and he said, loving it. Amazing. Good. Ooh, don't do that. Don't don't rip it. I'm looking at my comments and I just ripped it. Stephanie said this is one of my favorite crafts of yours. Oh, good. Okay. Good, Stephanie. I do have backup. Okay. Uh, Robin said, I love the closed captioning, but it blocks what Carol is doing. So there's a way to turn it off, but you have to turn it off. There is a way, Robin, but you have to do it on your end. Maybe the three dots, maybe Carmen or Nicole or Jody, 
knows how to figure that out, I'm not 100% sure. So you want to do this. Now, I looked up, okay, and I started talking, and I ripped mine. So I do have one as a backup because you really don't want it ripped. You can. So I have one that I did earlier that's not ripped, and it's the same thing. It's the same thing. So just be careful. Take your time. Don't rip it, okay? And then we're going to do said, I just love that you do such <laughs> unique crafts. Aw. Okay. We're just holding that. So this one, you're going to do the same thing. Thanks, guys. And keep spreading that honey. Okay. So this is the same thing. I'm taking the napkin off. So this is just going to make the most unique gift for somebody and very inexpensive. Because if you have napkins, you can do the technique of adhering your napkins to the copy paper and then just putting your recipes on top of it. Or you can customize your own napkins. Aw, thank you, Pamela. You guys are so sweet. Nicole just said you need to click the three dots in the upper right-hand corner, then um, click closed captioning, and it'll go away. Um, can you shut the fan off for two seconds, honey? Jody said hit the three dots and then hit closed caption. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Now okay. we're just waiting on Carmen. Okay. This one, I'm not going to use the whole thing, so I'm okay if I ripped it. Valerie said, spread the honey, everyone. Oh, yes. Thank you. Okay. So see how it's two-ply? So you're taking the one-ply, and then you're just left with that. Okay. Look how cute that is. Taking it apart is the hardest part. Okay. So now what we're going to do. Okay, so Gretchen just said, so how does that not stick so much that it doesn't come apart so easily? I was thinking the same thing, Gretchen. What's your question? The paper. When you oh, spray you the adhesive. Uh-huh. <laughs> when you spray the adhesive uh -huh. and you put it on there, mm -hmm. how are you peeling that off so nicely? That's what Gretchen wants to know. So the adhesive, I'm just lightly spraying it. You're not oversaturating it. Just enough for your napkin to stick. Now it is two-ply. So if you notice, when I was pulling it, some of it was stained. But that was the ply that I needed to come off anyway. See how it's like right there? So if some of the ply stayed with the paper, with the adhesive, I was okay with it. I just want the top coat. Yeah, Sandy said, I'm confused too. If you glued the paper and the napkins, how does it even come apart? So the napkin is two-ply. So that's oh, how it's coming. Oh, you're just taking the top one yep. off. So it's okay. two-ply. So this top ply isn't technically stuck to the paper. It's the ply underneath that's stuck to your paper. So when you're pulling it, it's actually leaving one ply. That's why I said it's important to use a thicker napkin so that you're not tearing the most important part. So I hope that helps. And then Shaylin said, I just came up with a great idea. You could use a picture of a loved one who actually wrote the recipe. Mm -hmm. That is a great idea. <laughs> okay. Hopefully you guys are good. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take some Mod Podge. I really want that fan on, but it's so windy. <laughs> it's not going to work. You no, got to turn it off. Gotta turn it off. <laughs> Oh, the adhesive Leanne was Gorilla Glue spray adhesive. But any, like, spray adhesive will work, not necessarily Gorilla Glue. Okay, so, like I said, I painted my rolling pin white because it makes it pop. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take, awesome idea, I think. Oh, for the, yes. Sandy said, Love oh, it. that clears it up. Thanks, girl. Okay, good. <laughs> good, Sandy. I know it's like looking at it, it's kind of confusing. <laughs> you should have seen the first live. That was uh, a little crazy. Okay, so I've got my Mod Podge. And I'm going to do it. So I know, well, I'm going to just do it on the whole thing and then I'll, whatever dries. Does it have to be spray? Uh, yes, yes, yes. I've only used spray. If you can think of another way, I just don't know what would be. Like, I don't know what would, you know, if you use a Mod Podge or something, it's just going to stick to it. It's not even going to let you go with one. No angry faces. We yeah. got an angry face. Yeah. Whoever Vicki Hartman, no angry faces. I'm sure it was by mistake, but. 
the the red looking mean face. Yeah, is, that's is not an a angry, good one. <laughs> that's an angry face. We don't want angry faces. Okay, so now what I'm gonna. There we go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna smooth it out. <laughs> Where'd y'all go? Sorry, that was Oh, my that was you. <laughs> it goes blank. Hold on. Hold on, Carol. Oh, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> that was my fault. All right. And then you're gonna take it. So mine can right now just fit two recipes, and that's fine, because you can use this for another project. So I'm just gonna take this. <laughs> Dang, it's like, whoo, you guys scared me. I know. <laughs> We're not getting right to the best part. Right, I got to cut it a little more. Because I don't want to cut up Ma's baked beans. Okay. Okay, so all I did, oops. <laughs> there you are. Okay, so that's what we got so far. Look how cool that is. That's the recipes. Isn't that fun? I love that. Okay, so let's. Now you can definitely just paint these. You can you can use the maze and just do all over if you wanted. I'm gonna definitely use the rest of this napkin. So what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put more Mod Podge. Oh, you thought, yeah, we thought we lost you too. Debbie said, I almost called 911. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, Debbie. You guys are so funny. But thanks for hanging out with us. We appreciate it. Okay. So I'm trying to see what's the best, best way to get this on here. I'm just going to use part of it get it covered if you want to line it up you can definitely line it up but i'm not too concerned with that <laughs> that's too funny Carmen said could you have done it lengthwise to get it all on there um i don't know if it would have fit i don't know i don't know plus i wanted the recipes to be um visible visible like like that was like my most seen but you can definitely try pulling it the other way okay and I'm not really worried right now I'm gonna fix all of this <laughs> yeah we just all of a sudden disappeared disappeared but like I said right now this is a very very inexpensive gift and it's very personalized okay it's wrong side right yeah it really doesn't matter you're kind of just lining it up as best you can. Yeah. And then you're just going to cut your excess. How oh, cool. You guys are fun. Never a dull moment. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're good with that. It's kind of wet still. So let me get it all down first before we start playing. Carolyn said, I love this so much. I have my mom's handwritten recipes. I'm going to make this for my daughter. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, we can put the band back on. <laughs> Dying. Yes, that's perfect. And that's what this is for. It's a personalized gift that you can make um, for somebody that you love. So the tissue is very fragile. So you're going to want to make sure that when you put your Mod Podge to seal it, you want to be really gentle, okay? Because it could tear. So you can gotta you wait seal for it. it to dry first completely and then put the mud. You can. Your you last can. coat of mud touch because it can. would be dry then. Yes, you can definitely You're not pulling do pulling a brush across damp. Yes, a hundred percent. Yep. Yep. But you're really just getting it sealed. Valerie um, said, Carol, you are brilliant. <laughs> I hope you guys give this a try. Perfect memory gift for a loved one. You're right, Patches. And it's something that they can display. Um, you know, I have like a, 
like a little, I don't know, crock thing or something. And they were all in there. Okay. We're going to do this. Oh, my nose. Great gift. Yes. I hope you guys try this. And it will be up on the blog. If you comment link, you'll get the link to the blog and to the to the market. Um, Bill cut out some really cute uh, wood cutouts for our project yesterday. So you can go check those and out. And I will say to everybody that purchased yesterday and today, thank you. Yes, we appreciate thank you. It. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. We'll show them at the end. Some cutouts for barbecuing. I would say it's the same technique for tissue paper, 100%. Kathy said, love this. Think I may do this with a cutting board. Yes, that's a good idea as well. And this is decorative. Susan said, did you paint the handles of that uh, line pen? Carol said, post the, that blog. We'll make it go viral. <laughs> Thank you. Susan said, did you paint the handles of the rolling pin? Yes, I painted the maze. Yep. So to everyone that has purchased these, this is one. It's a chicken, a pig, a cow, and a fish. And it's got your barbecue temperatures on there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of hard to tell for me. This is the bigger one. This is the bigger one. And this is the smaller one. That's a the, magnet. The smaller one comes with a magnet on the back so you can stick it on the grill. But it's got the temperatures on it. I don't know if you can see it. It's got a chicken, a pig, Super a cow, good. and a fish. They are in the market. And anybody that purchased yesterday, they went out today. Yep. <laughs> they went out today. So, yes, handwritten recipes for my grandmother. That's perfect. Okay, let me get. Where's my yes? Mini oh, ones. That was, on, mini ones on a jar. Yep, that's perfect. So then, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your. Um, so you got to make sure it's super dry before you do this part. And you're basically just taking the tissue paper off and giving it a nice, clean finish. If you have some that's on there, you can always, there we go. It's going to come right off if it's dry. If it's not dry, I know sometimes people ask me, like, it's not, it, it's a big hot mess. If it's a big hot mess, it's because it's not dry. Susan, you can find those in uh, in our market. Just comment link, L-I-N-K. It'll take you right there. There's two different sizes. There's the bigger one, which is kind of a leaner. Maybe you have a table outside. Maybe you want to put it on your kitchen counter. And then the other one has a magnet on it, so you can stick it right on the grill. So you never forget. Okay. So what I would do is I would do this part. I've got it all cut off. And like I said, I did the bees. You can personalize it. You know, if there's something special in your family, you can definitely, like I said, go check out Etsy for digital paper um, and, you know, print it out this way. It's perfect. Look how cute that is. So then basically what I would do is I would make sure everything is, once it's dry, I would put another final coat. But can you guys see that? And when you're doing your recipes, I would try to keep your background simple. Um, you know, like how it's just the honeycomb so that they could see the recipe. Are they going to pull this out and make the recipe? I doubt it. But it's more of just the memory of it. And then when they look at that, look how cool that looks. And so this is something you can display on your counter like this. They even have, I think, at Walmart, like a rolling pin um, holder. Or you could put it like in a bin or something. Oh, oh yeah, Jody said you could put magnets on the big one, too, if you want. Yeah, Jody, you can. The, the big one just doesn't come with a magnet. The small one comes with the magnet on the back. Oh, crackling paint, too. Yes, Heather, that would look awesome. Barbara Brown said, I love it. I see all the hearts. Isn't it cute? I just think, and, and if you guys have been following here for a while, you know that I love, I love making personalized gifts. It's one of a kind. They will not get a gift like this. It's very inexpensive. Like I said, use napkins you have and go do that trick of getting it on the paper. Um, $4 for the rolling pin if you find it at Walmart. 
Patches, if you're looking for the barbecue, it's in the market. It's in the market. Uh, we're going to try, Janet. I have to see if they're not out of stock. They were out of stock before, so I will double check if they were out of, if they have them. Missed how you put the print on it. Yeah, Susie, watch the replay. It tells you all the steps. Yes. My recipes my mom wrote on the back of Crisco wrapper is going to take a picture of the front of the wrap. Yes, that's perfect, Kathy. Oh, Amazon has a variety of rolling pin holders. Oh, perfect. That's perfect. That's a perfect gift. Great gift, Kathy says. Good. Connie, oh, I can't wait to try this. I hope you guys do. Um, and like I said, uh, make sure you guys comment DIY Club. We would love to have you in the club. It's going to reopen in a couple days. Um, we do a lot of projects like this and other projects more on a personal level. Um, and Bill does it with us. <laughs> right, ladies um, that are in the club? Let's talk about it. <laughs> really like the pin. Good. Very cute. Sweet. I'm thinking of some Perfect. Uh, I'm so glad you guys loved it. Okay, make sure you guys are spreading the honey. Make sure that you're commenting so you get into the gift away. Um, it is Bill's birthday weekend, so we were going to be um, out and about. Uh, but who knows? We might come on and do a surprise live. Oh, thank you so much, Debbie, for the stars. You're amazing. That's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Lisa said, this is a gift my sister-in-law can't put in her yard sale and sell. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, uh, thanks, Annie. We love Annie. Thank you for the birthday wishes. So I do appreciate club, it, everybody. Club is awesome. Oh yeah, Carol Claus said now everybody's gonna run on the napkins and rolling pins. Yes. Yes. Great gift for your sister-in-law. Perfect. Happy birthday to Bill. Yay. Okay, ladies. Have a wonderful Friday night. We will see you soon. Um, we love you and we appreciate you guys being here. So get crafting. Bye guys. Bye have guys. A, have a good night. Be safe.